Hey family, how y'all doing? It is Monday evening, your girl is back. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, yesterday I did not upload. I was really, really, really trying to do right and upload every day. Um, Even though I'm not accustomed to uploading every day, y'all know, you know, I really haven't been here in the last two years. Um, And so I just tried to jump right back on in. And I was like, you know, let me just do vlogmas. That way I can pump out a lot of content. I can pump out some old content that I had. And hopefully, you know, I can get my subscriber game up, which it's working. So I see you new subbies. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm a very, very small channel. I have been on YouTube for three years now. Um, but the last two have been spent focusing on nursing school. So I'm just now being able to get into the groove of things and I'm loving it. Um, so thank you for joining this channel. Um, and with that being said, um, I'm just in a space right now, you guys, where I'm just figuring like a lot of things out. Um, my focus just has not really been on anything else much than what I've had to deal with. And nursing school <laughs> y'all gonna hear me say that a thousand times but it's true my last two years like i said uh i just i had to focus on homework and test and clinical and all that so a lot of everything that i've had to do has had to be done quickly and i had to make like really quick decisions um so right now what i'm doing besides of course just like trying to get content out every day um i'm getting this house together um so let me apologize in advance. I probably should have did just like the first day of Vlogmas. But if you guys see like a mess here and there, if you guys see, for instance, like my TV is on the floor, like we're not ghetto, okay? <laughs> I'm very self-conscious about how I represent myself and, you know, like how my house looks, of course. And this is displayed for everybody in the world to see. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that... Um, like I said, I, I haven't had much time to focus. Babe goes to work. I predominantly, you know, take care of the household and make sure we have everything we need. And, you know, I just, I'm kind of traditional like that. I'm the woman of the house and um, I feel like it's my job to get the house in order. So, you know, we'll do a lot of um, shopping for the home, a lot of organization videos, uh, some cooking videos. And to be honest, y'all, we just moved here in September, and it's just a quaint, small, um, two-bedroom, two-bath uh, townhouse, and it's just me and babe, but y'all, I was talking to babe the other day, I'm like, I know the goal was to, like, stay here and save money and... Um, it was a financial move. Um, but honestly, at this place, it's just really small. And I think whenever I picked it, I was just like, okay, two bedroom, too bad. That should be enough for me and babe. But in reality, it's not. I don't know if it's the way it's laid out. I don't know if we have too much crap, which honestly, I think that's the issue, y'all. We have so many clothes. We have just, I mean, not only that, but you just have to think like moving in with your significant other is a big step. And I didn't factor in like that there will like be two of us. So there's like double everything, all his clothes, all my clothes. Cause if y'all haven't noticed, babe is really into fashion too. So we both really focus on, you know, how we look. So we have tons of accessories, tons of shoes, tons of sunglasses. Like we need like a whole room for a closet. And so I was like talking to babe and I'm like, I know that we made this move here financially just because we can save a lot of money because the rent is really not that much, y'all. Um, but I want to be comfortable too. You know what I mean? I don't want to feel crammed up and I like this place, but to be honest, you guys, I may have to look for something larger just because. Like, when I get done decorating, I don't want it to feel cramped in here. The furniture that we have now, like, I didn't even want to bring that in here. But, um, 
I do want to sell that, get rid of that, and like do like a whole do over. But I don't know if I want to do it in this space because it's small. I would really like something that's a three bedroom, just so that we can have a guest bedroom, and then uh, the third bedroom could be turned into like a big closet slash filming room. Like I'm really gonna try to get like professional with this YouTube thing, and I want things to be in order. And I know it all takes time. Um, we just moved in, like I said, in September. So obviously we have to be here for a year because it is a year's lease. But, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking I may have to rearrange some stuff and we have to talk about finances in a different way and, or do something different because it's just really small in here. Um, when you factor in as two people and y'all ain't trying to be funny when I say this, girl, we fat, we fat. Okay. Like we need room, honey. We have butts and guts coming through here. You hear me? So, <laughs> babe is a big guy. I'm not a small girl, even though our goal is to lose weight, and we will. Um, but as of now, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm trying to be grateful, because obviously, <laughs> if y'all watch my story time, y'all know a girl was on a mattress at one point in time. So, let's not act like I'm, you know, too proud or nothing. But um, space, I'm big into space. I like room. And I guess when I was thinking about moving in here, I was thinking more of, like, Maybe I was just thinking like myself, like I'm used to moving and living by myself, but two people, you know, I need some elbow room. I cook now a lot more. So I need, I, I, y'all, it's just, I need a lot more space. I need a lot more space. Um, counter wise, it's just not working. So I see potential here. I see this is cute for somebody that lives on their own or maybe somebody that just does not have a lot of things, but we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. We have many interests, um, lots of clothes and all that type of stuff. And then the way that I want to decorate, I don't know. I just see it being really, really crowded in here, y'all. So I may, I don't know, may <laughs> make us move in another year just because, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And I don't want to sit here and talk. I've already been talking for like seven minutes. But y'all know. I got to tell y'all what's going on. So, um, I am going to be keeping my eye out for something bigger. If I had my way, um, I'd move back towards St. Louis. Because you guys know I moved back to Illinois. But I'd move back towards St. Louis. Um, primarily because that's where my job is now. Um, that I'll be starting in January, but babe's job is here and I don't know that he wants to make that commute right now. I make the commute, but I also only work three days a week when that time comes. I don't work now, but at the time I will only be working three days a week. And so like I can do that three days a week. Um, so that's just my thoughts going in guys. I am watching vlogs not supposed to be i'm supposed to be studying i'm getting ready to actually do that um you know you guys know i take my nclex at some point and i gotta be studying for that so i'm trying to like carve out study time vlog time cooking time and household duty time because i'm also currently washing so the job never stops for a woman talk to y'all guys in a little bit so, do you guys remember these boots? They are by Vince Camuto, and I got them from Macy's. It's been at least, what, three years now, four years? These are so cute. And they honestly are still one of my favorite boots. They're just so classy with the gold plating, Vince Camuto's name. And y'all know for me, it's always all about the detail. The zippers, everything. It's just for show because technically you zip up on this side. But yeah, I just thought I would show you these guys because these are still a classic to me. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay uh, thousands of dollars for a good pair of boots. These were... Hmm, I feel like I caught a sale. They might have only been like 80 or 90 dollars, but 
but then something tells me they might have been like 150 also so between those two numbers <laughs> between like 90 and 150 but not bad because i've had them for three years obviously you know the cost per wear has been worth it they still look great even though the leather is broken in and these are a pair of babes tims he just honestly got these like at the start of the fall and he's depressed because he got some stains on him already we are both very particular about clothes and shoes and i know it's unrealistic to think that shoes won't get stained but you know how it is when you go out of your way to make sure something you know stays nice and then you know it just goes haywire and what happened with this was last night my dad stepped all over my boyfriend's shoes <laughs> Y'all, I don't know if that's a vlog y'all are ready for. I vlogged visiting my dad, my brother, and his girlfriend, and my niece. And all I'm going to say is family will be family. I'm not, I am not. don't know if I want to put them on the channel yet, y'all. <laughs> y'all might not subscribe. <laughs> but anyway, these are babes, Tim's. Oh, he hadn't had them in a long time. And then he got a stain on the back. Like, honestly, the very first time he wore them. He swears it's like grape jelly which i don't know why in the world that would be grape jelly but it's still good i guess but we just we hate stains y'all we hate it so lastly i just thought i would show you these guys y'all just because honestly yesterday when i was digging for the black and gold vince camuto boots i just showed you guys i saw these and i'm like oh yeah i forgot all about these they bought me these at the beginning of the fall also and i've only worn them once do you guys remember this i think the boot is still out at one point it was sold out but on the day that i went i found these boots at two different places i found a pair of eights at uh nordstrom is where i ended up buying these from and then i went down to journeys and they also had a size eight so they weren't that too sold out or whatever but um i really like these these are very different a lot of people don't like these just because uh it's kind of reversed it has the shearling inside the rubber so it's kind of like a rain boot you know repels everything you can just wipe it off and keep on going they had other colors like green and blue like a neon green or whatever i don't know that oh and pink also and orange i think so they had a lot of colors, but this just what spoke to me. I'm more of a simple person. These are more neutral. I can wear them honestly with black, with cream, blue jeans if I wanted to, leggings. And I've only worn these once. So I just thought these were cute. Honestly, I need to wear them with something because I forgot I had these, y'all. I Honestly, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I have so much fire when it comes to clothes and shoes that I literally, I can't even remember everything that I have. <laughs> it is sad. I need to sell some of it. A lot of it just sits there. But I like stuff to be available whenever I'm ready to wear it. I like to have it. So um, that's why I buy it. And Babe told me like, hey, you know what? You don't even use your full potential with your wardrobe. You know, he was just like, babe, in other words, step it up. Go ahead and show him what you're really working with. So Here's all the information if you guys are wanting to look for these. They're the classic clear minis in a size 8. And I got mine from Nordstrom. Um, so you might want to check there or check your lo local journey. Okay, guys. So I've done a little bit of homework. Taking a break. I can't stop watching vlogs. But I wanted to tell you guys about this chicken. So this is an organic chicken raised on a special farm, um, fed all the good stuff, clean meat. Um, I got this from my mother's husband. She, this is the only type of meat that she would eat. It had to be very clean or even no meat. She was pretty much vegetarian uh, before, you know, it was all over. She lost a lot of weight, did wonderful with it. Um, so this is organic, but it's so big. My friend calls it a fat butt chicken. <laughs> But um, I just, you know, cleaned it. And, and that's another thing. It's very, very clean. Not all that extra fat. You don't take all that time peeling off fat and cleaning it and 
plucking feathers. It's very, very clean, very fresh. And one thing about this chicken, it lasts. Um, you see how dense it is. Like, it's, um, it's just really meaty, really feeling kind of packed like salmon you know you can eat a small salmon steak and get really full off of it because it's so dense um but yeah i just put a whole bunch of seasoning on here lemon pepper little seasoning salt which i really don't cook with salt but i kind of have been lately um but it seems like it's of no benefit because i don't really taste like a difference salt is supposed to enhance the flavor i can do without salt though um some jerk seasoning, some lemon pepper, just um, a mix. So I'm getting ready to put some foil on this and let it bake really, really, really slowly and uh, see how it comes out. Most often in calculations involving drug administration, like this image shows. This includes determining correct and safe dosages, calculating IV flow rates, and conducting weight and measurement conversions, such as pounds to kilograms and grams to milligrams. Hey guys, so this is how it turned out. I baked it and then I turned the uh, broiler on, get a little crisp on it. Um, you know, chicken makes its own juice as it cooks and I already had a little bit of water in there. So what I'm gonna do is drain some of this and put it in this pot and I have about a half um, head of cabbage. So that's gonna be a little bit of the cabbage stock that I use. You don't need much because cabbage also makes its own juice and you don't want it too soggy. So I'm gonna pour some of this into here and start my cabbage. Okay, so I just put some of the stock in there with some onions and some garlic. I seasoned it with some crushed red pepper and some a little bit of seasoned salt and some garlic powder. And I usually would put onion powder in there, but I'm out. So um, this is just a really quick, easy version of cabbage because I usually add like uh, different colored peppers also um, and a few other, you know, um, spices. But you gotta make do with what you got at the time. So, y'all yeah, cook everything in this pot. <laughs> everything, soups, chili, cabbage, greens, whatever. So, I'm gonna put that in and let things uh, simmer and steam and we'll come back and look at it. Girl. I can't even show you guys the cabbage because guess what? I burnt it. <laughs> that little bit of cabbage. How in the world did I burn it? I have never burnt cabbage before. <sighs> it's because I'm watching these vlogs, y'all. Like Vlogmas is, is, is everything. It's just a plethora of vlogs. Everybody is putting content out. People that I've never seen before are being, you know suggested by youtube so i'm checking out new people i'm looking at some of my oldies but goodies um i found out that i like to watch people that are very different from me like people that live very very different lifestyles from me um especially some of these younger women um i like to watch them um and i did find one guy his name is Sergio Secret. I was watching him back in like, I discovered him early summer, late spring. Um, and I really like his channel because what he does is he basically shops the way I shop at places like Nordstrom Rack, um, TJ Maxx, Ross, and he finds deals on all these designer um, items. Um, and it's exactly how I shop, so. He's just a male virgin and he's a young guy. So I've really been enjoying his channel. Um, Ashley Devana. I've been following this um, subby, I mean subby, this vlogger called uh, Peyton Marie Charles. <laughs> She's funny. She is funny. Um, so there's a few new people that I've been watching and I didn't got caught up and burnt my cabbage, y'all. 
Only had a little bit of it too. It doesn't taste bad, bad, but it's burnt point blank period. So that didn't turn out right because I wasn't paying attention. Um, and I don't think I really have anything else to substitute. So whatever.